How was LT? And then when did you feel like, how many years did it take you to feel like you had your footing? So first, how was LT? As a, as LT a was a great teammate. Crazy, which when he showed up at practice. When hmm. he showed up. When he showed up, <laughs> which he don't like when I say that, but it's true and you know it, LT. <laughs> this cat would go 100 miles per hour. Mm. When he's in there and practicing his reps, and sometimes he takes scout team reps, 100 miles per hour. Game speed. Game speed. And that's one thing I learned from him. In practice with game speed. Mm. It wasn't going through the motions. And then in the meetings, I didn't learn nothing from him there because <laughs> this cat would come in, get a towel, roll it up, and lay on the floor and go to sleep the entire meeting. And then the coaches would, you know, <laughs> wake him up, turn on the light at the end. Like, not... Like, at the end of the meeting. They knew better not to wake him up during. Yes. Right. And then we'll go, hey, uh, you know, uh, LT, we put in this blitz and that blitz. Is that okay with you? Like, why the hell are you asking him? We all, and he'll wake for the last two right. hours. This cat's sleeping. You got to ask if it's okay. And if it's not, I guarantee you, they, they would have change changed that it. Yeah. It's like, but he had earned that, man. Right. He had earned the respect of these coaches and, and, and of, of, us, of, of us as players. But he was a great team. He gave you a shirt off his back. Mm-hmm. Um, intimidating, like I, I, he's intimidating, and it took me until hell recently to not be intimidated <laughs> when I see LT. Mm -hmm. And he and I got into a big old argument, um, uh, not an argument, but a, a nice, fun conversation, like a year or so ago at a golf tournament. He was like, you know, I'm, I should, I'm the, I should be the career leader in sacks for the Giants, and he's going on and on. I said, well, you know, you're not. <laughs> That's simple. I am. <laughs> well, if I didn't miss all them games, I, I didn't tell you to do the drugs, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mad at me for something you did. Right. right. But, yeah, that's my guy, man. I, yes, I, love, I love dude, man. That's good dope. dude. That's, that's dope. dope. So how did you, like, rough rookie year, when did you feel like you kind of got your foot in oh, and man, understanding of the game? Four years. Four years. I had a great coach. Earl Leggett was my first D-line coach. Coach Howie Long with the Raiders. and and incredible coach. If I didn't have him, I probably would last to the total four years mm. Because he taught us technique. He and John Fox, who went on to become, mm -hmm. you know, John Fox Good and Mike coach. Nolan was the coordinator. Yeah. They taught me um, how to watch film, how to study. Like, not watching film as a spectator. Mm -hmm. I'm watching film as a player trying to get better and understanding what I'm watching. Right. So that really helped. And Earl, technique-wise, no one could match him. How he taught us how to take on you know, these two 350-pound guys want to crush you. How do you to turn into the technique so that you kind of negate when you're getting uh, doubled and all these different things like just the pass rush, how to rush with power, how to rush with finesse. He was just amazing. So Earl was a coach you glad you had, not a coach you glad you have. Because mm -hmm. he was so hard During the on the moment, him. he was a beast. So once he, we had him for three or four years, and then once Earl went to D. Washington after that, I don't know, it was freeing. It's like you, you were able to have his technique, but you were able to not think about doing it. It just came naturally. Yeah. Because with him, you had to worry about it all the time. Because you get in a meeting, and, man, this cat, would, he, would, he would talk dirty to you, talk bad to you if you're out there getting handled. Like, don't get hit, don't get pushed, don't get knocked down, and not defend yourself. Because mm. he would tell you, I'm too old to get out here and defend myself, son. You got to defend your own, yourself. Mm. You, you got to defend yourself. I'm too mm -hmm. old for this shit. Or if you're in a training camp, and you were out there getting beat up in training camp, he would literally come in and be like, hey, man, I got to go in these meetings. Send it in front of everybody in the D-line room. I got to go in these meetings with these other coaches and fight for you. I got to go out there and fight for you. But look at this shit you're putting on film. Mm -hmm. You're just sending me up there with my dick in my hand. And you just <laughs> <laughs> and you literally sitting there going, Damn, yeah, right. right. You got to right, take right, it. Right, my right. bad. My bad. He, I loved it, though. I needed to be coached like that. I didn't need a coach who was soft on me and tell right. me everything's okay. Right. Because it's not. Mm -mm. Shit ain't yeah, he was perfect. But then once he went to, to Washington, I t we were able to take what he taught us and kind of be free with it. And it just came naturally. All the moves, the anticipation. And from then on, it was like, boop. So his foundation. Got the limit. 